Okay, see Lindelof videos, how to take your TI, Inspire, and your CAS calculator and change the settings on your calculator from degrees to radians or radians degrees, two degrees, sure. First thing I'm going to do is this. Um, I'm going to actually just test my calculator to see what it's in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to calculator here, and I'm going to take, look, I'm looking at my unit circle. So here's my unit circle here. So here's something that I know. Where is that thing? Here's my unit circle. So I know that pi force and 45 degrees are the same thing, right? And I know that cosine and sine of either one of those is square root 2 over 2, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go check and see which it's in. So I'll go back to my calculator, and I'm going to ask, what is, let's uh, see if, it, let's see, sine, S-I, hello, N of, Let's see if it's in radians. So I'll do this of pi. And where I got the pi was there's a little pi button right here and it has stuff in it. Divided by four. So that's pi four, isn't it? Hit enter. Don't get freaked out because that is the perfect answer. So what you would do here is just go and check, ask the calculator to give you a better answer. I'm going to say control, enter. That's not close. That's not close. This thing must be in degrees. All I'm going to do, Victor, is I'm going to check it. So I'm going to just do the same test again. So I'm going to say, what is sine of 45? Well, that's what I expected, isn't it? So now I know for sure, even after you change the settings, you should go back and check and make sure that it, the change took. So right now, I'm pretty sure that this thing is in degrees. So what if your professor gives you a question and, and he or she gives it to you in radians? So what you would do is this. You'd go to the home screen, which is up here. You hit the home screen button. You'd go to settings, and then you'd go to document settings. And look, Victor, just like I said, I thought it was in degrees, and here it is. It's in degrees. All I'm going to do is, is toggle down to this degrees. I'm going to change it to radians. I'm going to hit OK. Right? This is the exact screen that you're going to see on your calculator. Is this one right here. I'm going to go back to calculator, and then I'm going to test it. I think, um, Jeannie, that I switched this to radians. So I'm going to test and see if I did. The way I'm going to know if I did it right or not is I'm going to just go here and say, what is the sign of, again, I use this button to get, the pi, to get pi, right? Pi. If you write the word pi, your calculator recognizes that as pi also, believe it or not. So pi, force. And if I hit enter, what should the value, what value should come back? Square root 2 over 2, right? So I hit that. There it is. Now I'm convinced my calculator is in radians mode, right? So I think it's really easy. The one thing I'll tell you is when you switch back and forth, just do a quick test a quick test based on something you know on the unit circle to make sure that you've made the change correctly. All right. Victor wanted me to thank you for watching the video, and he says if you have any comments, to please leave them. And he also told me to tell you that if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Victor, you're a heck of a guy. I love you to death, man.